Hi kids! I am Teacher Mae and welcome sa ating math tutorial. Let's talk about on how to find the greatest common factor and least common multiple using the ladder method. Actually, we have three ways on how to find the GCF and LCM. We have the listing method, prime factorization, continuous division, or what we call as the ladder method. So this is the simplest way that you may use to find the greatest common factor and this common multiple of two or more numbers. So let's have a number pair, 24 and 36. Using this strategy, we are going to factor these numbers hanggang sa ma-reduce natin sila into lowest. We are going to think of a smallest prime number that is divisible by both 24 and 36. Since they are even numbers, then these are divisible by 2. So, mag-drawing tayo ng inverted division symbol, like this one. Then, let us put 2 on the left side of the numbers. So, let us now divide. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Let us put 12 below 24. Then, same lang yung process. 36 divided by 2 is 18. So, we have now 12 and 18. Since they are not yet reduced into lowest, kasi they have a common factor pa. So, since 12 and 18 are even numbers, they are divisible by 2. So, again, let us put 2 on the left of the numbers. And then, let us now divide. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Since meron pang ulit common factor, yung 6 and 9, which is 3. So, we have 6 divided by 3 is 2. So, 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now, we have now 2 and 3. Since 2 and 3 are relatively prime, so stop na tayo dyan. So, to find the greatest common factor... The GCF is the product of all the common factors on the left. So, we are going to multiply these numbers. So, 2 times 2 times 3. So, 2 times 2, we have 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So, the greatest common factor of 24 and 36 is 12. Now, paano naman po natin kukunin yung least common multiple? To find the least common multiple, it is the product of the greatest common factor and the numbers at the bottom. So, para mas madali natin matandaan, we have the L shape. Yan. So, etong, etong mga numbers na to, we are going to multiply. 2 times 2, we have 4. 4 times 3, we have 12. 12 times 2, we have 24. And then, 24 times 3 is 72. So, the least common multiple of 24 and 36 is 72. Okay, next. How about 280 and 144? Mag-iisip tayo ng common factor ng 280 at 144. Since they are even numbers, they are divisible by 2. So, 280 divided by 2 is 140. And then, 144 divided by 2 is 72. We are going to think of a common factor of 140 and 72. Since they are even numbers, let us divide it by 2. So, 140 divided by 2 is 70. 72 divided by 2 is 36. Next is, mag-iisip ulit tayo ng number na pwede i-divide kay 70 and 36. Again, since they are even, let us divide it by 2. 70 divided by 2 is 35. And then, 36 divided by 2 is 18. Okay, next, we have 35 and 18. So, 35 is an odd number. So, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-divide sa 2. Right? Okay, next we have 3. Are they divisible by 3? Okay, no. So, the rule, kapag divisible siya by 3, 
the sum of the digits are divisible by 3. So, kung 3 plus 5, we have 8. 8 is not divisible by 3. So, sa 4, hindi din. Okay, so stop na tayo dyan. So, to find the greatest common factor, we are going to find the product of the common factors. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So, therefore, the greatest common factor of 280 and 144 is 8. Next, how about the LCM? So, sabi ko nga kanina, um, para mas madali natin matandaan, ayan, mag-form lang tayo ng L-shape. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 8 times 35, we have 280. 280 times 18 is 5,040. So, the LCM of 280 and 144 is 5,040. Okay, next, how about three numbers? So, we are looking for the LCM and GCF of these numbers. So, mag tayo ng smallest prime number na divisible by 24, 60, and 48. So, because they are even numbers, they are all divisible by 2. Okay? So, let us now divide. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 60 divided by 2 is 30. And then, 48 divided by 2 is 24. Okay? Next. Again, Mag-iisip tayo ng prime number, ng smallest prime number na divisible siya sa lahat ng numbers na yan. So, since they are even numbers, these are divisible by 2. So, i-divide natin siya sa 2. So, 12 divided by 2 is 6. 30 divided by 2 is 15. And then, 24 divided by 2 is 12. Next. Since we have here 15, 15 is an odd number, hindi na siya divisible sa 2. So, sa 3, how about 3? So, 6 is divisible by 3. 15 also is divisible by 3. And then, we have 12 is also divisible by 3. Okay, so, i-divide natin siya sa 3. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And then, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay, next. May common factors pa ba ang 2, 5, and 4? Wala na. So, they have no common factors. So, mag i na tayo dyan. So, to find the GCF, let us multiply the numbers on the left. Ayan, yung common factors na i-multiply natin. So, we have 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So, the greatest common factor of 24, 60, and 48 is 12. Okay, next. How about in finding the LCM of these numbers? So, pansinin natin yung mga natira sa baba. So, kapag naman LCM, when there are no more primes that evenly divide into at least two numbers, you are done. So, since 2 and 4 are divisible by 2. So, let us now divide it by 2. Okay. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then, 5 is not divisible by 2. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, ibibring down lang natin siya. So, kukopyahin lang natin yung 5. Next. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay. Next po. We have now 1, 5, and 2. So, sabi, at least 2 numbers kailangan relatively prime. So, lahat na sila ay relatively prime. Let us now multiply the numbers on the left side and the numbers at the bottom. So, 2 times 2, we have 4. 4 times 3, we have 12. 12 times 2 is 24. So, 24 times 1, we have 24. 
24 times 5 is 120. 120 times 2 is 240. Therefore, the least common multiple of 24, 60, and 48 is 240. Next, how about 84, 56, and 98? Again, mag-iisip tayo ng smallest prime number na pwede i-divide sa lahat ng numbers na yan. So, since they are even numbers, then they are divisible by 2. And so, 84 divided by 2 is 42. 56 divided by 2 is 28. 98 divided by 2 is 49. Again, mag-iisip tayo ng smallest prime number na pwede i-divide sa lahat ng numbers na yan. So, we have 7. So, 42 divided by 7 is 6. 28 divided by 7 is 4. And then, 49 divided by 7 is 7. Now, we have now 6, 4, and 7. May common factors pa ba sila? So, wala na. Greatest common factor is 2 times 7, we have 14. Okay, next. So, we have 6, 4, and 7. So, since 6 and 4, pwede pa natin i-divide yung 6 and 4 by 2. So, let us divide it by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, since 7 is not divisible by 2, so we are going to copy 7. Next, how about 3, 2, and 7? So, 3, 2, and 7 are relatively prime now. So, let us now multiply to find the LCM. So, itong L sheet na to. So, we have 2 times 7, we have 14. 14 times 2 is 28. 28 times 3 is 84. 84 times 2 is 168. 168 times 7 is 1,176. So, therefore, the LCM of 84, 56, and 98 is 1,176.